Yalla Habibi, what's poppin' my friends? It's me, Jolana, here in the gym time today. And I'm having my supplements for Moscow here. This is actually more like an Oshie Shredman. Then I have some pre-workout supplement here. Uh, zero drink and the magic balls, my friend. This is actually just like a fried, I don't even know, man. It's kind of fried shit, something. This will give me the power I need for my water. Um, and today we're gonna do some video for you. Techniques and all stuff. Stay tuned, bro. I mean, to put the proper gym clothes on, my friends, I got my shirt from BQ Fit. And this is a shape of the day. Not the best, not the worst, but better than uh, being fed, right? And you have to say, if you come from Germany back to Thailand, you always hold a little bit more water in the first days. Yeah, that's true. But somehow, it was the other way around when I went back to Germany, though. Somehow. I was more depleted, I would say. Maybe it's just the Asian weather, you know, and the pollution and all this coronavirus that is sucking in makes us feel bloated. So like I said, we're gonna do back training today. The most important thing that you have to know is for back, there's literally four movements you have to do. One grip is a close grip to the body, right? One is a wide grip to the body and one from above, wide grip, close grip. These are four different types of grips. One, two, three, four then you have all the different angles and stuff from your back. And also really important for this one, make sure you pull it and imagine like you pull with your elbow, bro. Like you're pulling it with your elbow, close your eyes, focus, because otherwise people, they pull a lot with their biceps and stuff, right? That's not it, man. You gotta focus on pulling it, close your eyes, and imagine like your elbow is pulling the weight. As your elbow doesn't have a muscle, your mind-muscle connection activates your lats more, and this is how you get a better contraction for the back. Maybe, I mean, I should be fair and apply a towel, you know. And this is our second exercise for our wide lats and also we take a really wide grip for this one. So like I do one or two warm-up sets. I say when I'm moving to one to another exercise, I always let's say sit down first, take some weight and get an imagination of how strong I am feeling today, how is it feeling for me, how heavy can I go and then adjust it slowly, taper it up. Don't go all in on full set. Start slowly, find your weight, you know, and then um, increase it as much as you can over time, over the sets, so you get a few good working sets in. You have always to do the full range of motion, yeah? Always stretch and squeeze, yeah? This is a very important method. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. Bam. So, first set. It's a work set, right? Yeah, first working set. And then make sure like contract it. And then you can do this with your wrist. And like I said, try to pull the weight with your elbow. Because your elbow doesn't have a muscle. And to do this, you, you're activating your lats better. Close your eyes helps a lot, man and then stretch and squeeze it. Hold it for a second. Slow and control grabs and then contract. The movement is the same when you do like uh, a pull-up, you know. That's it. And full squeeze. Over the middle. Oh. 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 It's one oh. Oh. Oh, here, here. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, try to find a body to push yourself, and then you just keep going and become the best version of yourself. Bonix Kumnix. Bonix Kumnix. That's a German. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you have to imagine here inside, like you said, there is no aircon. So oh, it's, it's really hot, man, and this yeah. belt is really. Yeah. You can't can breathe, you can't breathe, that's the problem. Jesus. 
So this is the third exercise. Uh, lat close grip rows to the body. And this one I was explaining a lot, you know, because you can do a very few different types of the technique. So either you can pull the thing, like I said, you can pull like this, when you lean backwards more, or you put your head, you bring your head down, and you row in more with your lower lats, you know, for the thickness. As I'm having quite a shitty lower back, I always have to do this technique where I'm rowing like this to get the thickness for my back. If you feel like you're having bad traps and mid-back, you row it more, to, more, more like this. Like, so, so just compare these two techniques, right? There's one, I'm rowing like this. Or the next one is I'm bringing my head down and rowing like this. This was another warm-up set, just to figure out about the weight, like I said, like I always do. Whew. So now Sebastian is doing the rows, like I said. Now he is also doing it with his, he keeps his head low and rows towards his mid belly button to keep the tension here. Because this one is like, he wants to improve his lower lats, so he's rowing like this. Now do the other technique around. Maybe you come here real quick. See this one, now he's rowing towards his chest and he's using a lot more of his back, uh, mid-back, like his traps, you know. This is why his, his traps are really strong. Before he, before he was using them a lot. Now, when you row like, you lean over the weight, you have more contraction on your lower, uh, lower lats. And make sure you have a nice and slow and steady movement and feel the reps, you know. Feel the weight. That's really important. Yeah, you have to try this because I even don't know the difference. Uh, Joe tell me maybe four or five weeks ago and then I have the first time this feeling in my lower back. Yeah, it's Never really like, you know, before. let's say with training, it's a lot, guys, I, I, I guarantee you, there's a lot of so much small things, you know, you don't know, but if you take, pay attention to these and do it properly, it makes a huge difference in how you feel and how you contract the muscle and how the muscle is actually working. And this is a really important to develop an overall nice physique. Let's go, uh, do, we're going to do three, four more sets here, but we're not going to record much. So see you afterwards and thanks for watching, guys. This was just a real quick, short back training, but afterwards we're gonna do a real quick posing session, so stay tuned and watch the posing, the shape check. I mean, like I said, we're gonna show the shape real quick. There's nothing to hide, my friends. No Photoshop, no Lightroom. This is the, the raw roof, you know? Okay. I'm always wearing the belt because of my hernia problem, okay. but let's say, yeah, this is the shape. I mean, we should do something else because we do the same oh, yeah. thing like last time. But then you just get back parents. Oh yeah, back double. Uh, back lat spread. Okay. <laughs> I think we do the back lat spread, both a little bit different. are not the best. <laughs> okay, Broski. That's it. That's it. I mean, like I said, pushing each other. This is the key. Find a good mate who inspires you. If you don't have one, follow our Instagram. <laughs> and now there's a lot of stuff more coming on YouTube. I mean, it's really up to you, bro. You want to subscribe and follow what we're doing? Feel free to do. Yeah. You think like we're fucking idiots? Hate us, man. I don't care, you know? <laughs> Support us if you want. If you don't want, don't do it. And that's it for now. There was another video. Keep pushing, stay focused and motivated, guys. And uh, 
for us it's time to push through, do the cardio and then eat. Sabadi Krep.